Hey everyone, Odd here. Just want to give you all a quick update on what's going on around the world. Um, this is from the Insider. Uh, they say that the Russian foreign minister, you know, Sergei Lavrov, says Russia's war with Ukraine is meant to put an end to U.S. world domination and NATO expansion. Now, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to a lot of what's been going on. You guys know that I was one of the first people warning about Ukraine. Uh, when most people were looking other directions at other things, I knew that this was getting ready to pop off uh, well before they even had the huge troop buildup. Um, <clears throat> the reason why is because this was the year. Um, a lot of the things that I've studied over the years, I knew that in between now and 2024 would be um, the spark that was going to light World War III. Now, we're also going to start seeing some things with Russia doing naval exercises around Japan probably here soon because China and Russia are going to be working together. And Russia is going to be attacking uh, Europe to take all of Europe. This is the plan. Um, and also China is going to be taking all of South Asia, um, including Japan, all that stuff. Um, Japan, Indonesia... Um, Papua New Guinea, Malaysia, Laos, Vietnam, India, and all of that. And they're already in the Middle East. Russia's already in Syria. And then once they begin to make this movement towards the uh, um, end, when their power becomes strong, they're going to have a plan to take on Israel. Okay, This is Bible prophecy. Ezekiel 38 talks about the war of Gog and Magog. Okay, And Rush, in Bible prophecy, is Russia. Okay, the modern ancient people of Russia is Russia today. And Mashish is Moscow. And if you look on a map, Moscow is directly due north of Jerusalem. Directly due north. So, if you take a look at that, you'll see that, hey, this is, this is something to pay attention to. I've always had a feeling that Russia was the king of the north. Um, and Putin is going to eventually go into Italy and he's going to massacre the Pope. This is part of the Fatima prophecies, okay? Um, Malachi also warned that um, this would be the last Pope, Pope Francis, okay? The people call him Peter the Roman, and that was the Pope he talked about, and he said, oh, this Pope would be adorned in white and everything. So with everything that's going on now, you can clearly see, when you know all of these things, what's happening and what's to come. So the good news is, is that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is coming very quickly. He's coming soon. So we need to be prepared for this. But the Zechariah chapter 14 prophecy is going to take place very soon. And the Zechariah 14 prophecy states that the curse will be on the man and on the cattle and the sheep and the ox, etc. This plague, okay, that's supposed to happen is where our skin will fall off our flesh while we stand on our feet. Our eyes shall dissolve in their sockets, and our tongues shall cleave to our mouths. So, what does that sound like to you? The flying scroll spoken of in Amos as well? Minuteman missiles? Nuclear weapons? If a nuclear weapon were to hit, it would be not just on us, but all life around us would suffer the same curse. Okay? And anybody that's studied nuclear weapons understands that the radiation would cause your skin to fall off while you're walking. Your skin would fall off of you. Your eyes would dissolve in their sockets because of the blast that, uh, that takes place. And the radiation would also dissolve your eyes in their socket. Tongue would cleave to the mouth because the water would be bitter. It'd be like wormwood because it'd all be contaminated with radiation from fallout. <clears throat> so a lot of this stuff has been prophesied in the Bible and it's going to take place. So... Those who are sealed in the Holy Spirit have the baptism of fire. And God gave us a, a view of this in Daniel. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego entered into the fiery furnace, there was one in the likeness of the fourth man, okay, or the Son of God. So when Dan Daniel and them came out of the fiery furnace, not even the smell of smoke was upon their bodies, and not even their hair was singed. Why? because they were sealed in the Holy Spirit. If you're sealed in the Holy Spirit, the fire will not touch you. Why? Because you have been sealed in the Holy Spirit. 